property located on Thornhill. It's five bedrooms, five baths, and this is the front of the home. It, the home is all behind uh, walls, five foot, six foot walls, and so you can't see inside the property from the road. But here's the driveway. Here's where you know foot traffic would come in. Let's go in the property. We go in through this door here and it's a mini estate. Um, I do want to show you from the front over here you've got the fruit trees which are um, grapefruit trees. You've got citrus all over the place. You've got uh, grapefruit, lemons, tangerines, tangelos, oranges, navel oranges, Myers lemons, cocktail pomelos. You also have back here you've got bananas and you also have a trellis of grapes over there. Um, you do have a fig tree over here. You've got more citrus, more citrus over here. And um, you've got, well like I say, the bananas over there. You do have a carport, a big carport. Um, the house is so big that uh, the property is so big that you do have a pool in the front yard which is way over there and um, you do have lots of different sitting areas. I'm going to take you through here which is um, it's a very nice area. You can sit over here, you can sit back here in the shade if you'd like, although right now it's a little bit sunny there in that spot. But um, Here's the pool, nice big pool. You've got it's a heated salt water pool. You also have the heated uh, salt water um, jacuzzi spa over there, and over here you have an area that you could put a, you know, it's it's basically a tanning shelf. Uh, you could put a um, an umbrella there if you want. Uh, back over here we've got, you know, a fountain, a water fountain, and. So you've got a statue here which is is Cariot. And then you do have a little bit of a sitting area over here if you wanted to sit in the shade as well. Um, and here's the a better view of the of the water fountain. You've got sitting areas back here, you've got a sitting area over there, you've got sitting areas here. I'm gonna take it to where you can see the property now. Um, you can see it's a really nice big property. There's one bedroom behind here. There's the laundry room. Uh, there are windows that face the mountains. Um, you have another bedroom over here, a fifth bedroom. Uh, basically the property has, um, it has, let's see, it's got the four bedrooms, four baths in the main house and then there's a one bedroom, one bath casita. Um, but anyway, let me just show you all. There's the, um, the flagpole that I just put up. It's lighted up there, other sitting area with umbrella. Here is where you can, right there, you can put the um, umbrella in if you wanted to. But you do have, you know, it's really nice. You've got all the fruit trees. It's, uh, the whole property is lined with fruit trees around the periphery of the property. The only place that is does not have fruit trees uh, around the periphery is right over here where you've got the two grapefruit trees that are standing uh, in the middle of the property. You have the flagstone over here. You've got another sitting area over here. Um, that's a bedroom there, but this is the walkway into the front of the house, into the front door. Walk in. You walk into what we call the breezeway. And over here you've got one bedroom, which I'll take you in later. That's the only bedroom, by the way, that does not have a bathroom attached to it all. We've got five bedrooms, five baths here, but um, four bedrooms, four of the baths are attached to each other. This is the only bath or bedroom and bath combination that does, are not attached. Um, anyway, over to the right here you've got one of the living rooms which is, it's got the majestic ceilings. You've got another bedroom, bathroom combination behind, beyond there 
fireplace over here. But you've got the one big living room here. You've got a sitting area here for probably eight or ten people. And you've got the fireplace there. I've got candles in the fireplace. It kind of looks kind of nice, I think. Um, anyway, your other big living room is over here. Uh, nice baby grand piano here. It's a 1937 baby grand. You've got another fireplace there. Um, and anyway, I'm going to go into, or you've got a big mirror here and another entryway to two more bedrooms and three bathrooms down here. Right beyond this mirror is the bathroom that you used for the bedroom that I did not show you. Anyway, you've got the floor to ceiling windows overlooking all the mountains up there uh, and and I'm going to go into one of the bedrooms now actually I'll show you the laundry room first the laundry room is right here it's open but you've got a folding table here a bar type folding table, marble, and you've got the washer and dryer over here. I'll take you into the bedroom, one of the bedrooms. Let's see, the five bedrooms that I have, I've got four king size beds and one queen size. This is a king size. Um, and this is the bedroom whose window overlooks the pool, which is really nice. Pool and jacuzzi. And Anyway, you've got a sitting area here, the television. Uh, one thing about the televisions is that there are no flat screen televisions here. Um, anyway, you've got your closet over here. I'm going to try to stay out of the picture, which I, I guess I'm not. Um, mirrors everywhere. Here's one of the bathrooms. This one's attached to, and it's only for the use of this bathroom. Um, you've got right over here, you've got the bathtub and shower. Uh, I'm going to go around to the rest of the property, the rest of the main house, uh, so you can see. And there's the other be bedroom, by the way, beyond there. The one without the... Actually, let me go in there now. I'll show that one to you now. Um, this bedroom... is as you can see, uh, really big. You've got your wardrobe closet over here, king size, California king size bed, um, you know, sitting area, and then you do have, well, the outside. This door goes directly outside, and you also have your television, which swivels, and You've got your plantation shutters and, and couch and um, coffee table there. And so now uh, I'll take you to the bathroom that goes with this bedroom that we just looked at. Okay, I'm going to walk toward the bedroom area or the bathroom area. You go down this hallway here and actually it's right to the right over here, but I just want to show you this wall is all painted, but this is all mirror on this side. It's just an illusion. But the painting is over here. And the door is also painted. And this is the bathroom that goes with that bedroom back over there. This bathroom has a shower. It has the shower here. So all the bathrooms here are full bathrooms. I'm going to walk around to the other two bedrooms that are in the main house. So you've already seen one bedroom, two bedrooms actually. I'm going to show you one bedroom to the side over here, right here. Again, and now this is the bedroom with the queen size bed. You've got the queen size bed here. Again, plantation shutters. Plantation shutters everywhere. You've got the television over here, the dressers, and then again the door is painted, and then you do have the full bathroom here, um, sitting area. I've got the full bathroom, and this bathroom, by the way, has a 
spa. And this tub is the spa. Now, right across over here, we've got another bedroom. It's another big bedroom. Um, again, you got lots of mirrors around here, but here's the bedroom here. Again, the plantation shutters are there. You've got the plantation shutters over here. And king size bed. This closet is the owner's closet, so that's locked. You won't be able to get in there. It's a small television up here. Um, and then, by the way, you've got a, an air conditioning unit here. You know, over here you've got the air that comes through when the air conditioning is on, but this is an extra booster in case uh, on really hot days in case you need it. And of course you've got the nice fan up there too. Um, um, you've got a nice big closet over here and then this bathroom is really neat it's got all tiles on the wall uh, and then here the shower is you've got one water shower handheld unit there you've got this up here that spins around you know water comes out of these you've got another unit up here uh, but you do have the the basin there, and mirror again, and then behind this wall you got the toilet. There are actually two kitchens. One is the main kitchen dining room area, and that's right in here, right in there. I'm going to walk in through the dining room. You've got the dining room area, and then the kitchen, you've got the high-end You've got all the high-end appliances, you've got five burners over here, you've got the microwave, you've got one oven down there, you've got the stainless steel you know, refrigerator and the same thing, stainless steel um, dishwasher. And it's all granite throughout here, including full backsplashes. Then I'm going to take you back here, which is the chef's kitchen. And back here it's a prep kitchen in case you have, you know, a party or whatever. And then you've got the five burners. And again, you've got the sink and the dishwasher over there. But here you've got a huge, these are actually two different units. One is the refrigerator. And then another unit is the freezer. And then over here you've got two more of the uh, ovens. I'm going to take you back to the casita right now. And the casita, because I want to finish this up in a minute. Um, you do have the barbecue back here. You've got a sitting area here. You also have a sitting area with an umbrella over here. Again, you've got bananas everywhere, banana plants. And then this is the you know entryway, or it's the sliding glass doors into the casita, but uh, you would go into it over here. It's a one bedroom, one bath, kind of like a studio unit. Um, you do have a table there, and got the king size bed here. Um, you do have the um, area over there to put your clothes. You have to hang your clothes up, and then you also have the mirror. You've got the television over here, and you've got the bathroom in here. And it's got a tub and a shower. And again, the uh, you know, and then this looks out onto the area with the um, barbecue. It's a gas barbecue, by the way, and it's got a searing unit as well as a, um, a burner. And it's got six burners on this oven itself. And, or on the barbecue itself. And back here, I just want to show this to you real quick. There's not much to do in the backyard, but it's all paved. But it is kind of nice when you, when you've got the um, um, the fountain on. But I want to show you. I'm going to turn it off so this way you can see. Hopefully you'll remember. But if you want the, if you want it on, this is the uh, door to the bedroom in the back. But this is how you shut it off right there. Okay, this is it.